good morning. It's Rob with Rockdale Construction, and I left my freaking hammer on the roof. Good morning. It's Rob with Rockdale Construction. Coming to you guys from Fort Thomas, Kentucky. What we're doing today, double locking the eaves of this metal roof here, okay? Now, how does that differ from a normal metal roof? Over 90% of those metal roofs here at the eave, you've got two pieces of metal. You've got your low leg and your high leg. And usually what you see is those two come right to the edge of the roof and they turn 90 degrees, just like that, okay? And what happens is, as water comes down the roof, you've got surface tension, you've got some traction here, but that water is gonna actually catch the edge of your panel and then slowly start to creep back uphill. And it'll get right in between the seams here, okay? It doesn't seem like that would be the case. It seems counterintuitive. However, I will tell you through my experience, what I've seen on old metal roofs that, that were not closed properly, that the edges of the metal inside of here start to rust out and the top of the drip edge underneath is just covered with rust and corrosion from that, I guess you would call it capillary action. Uh, similar to how like you put a paper towel on a table, you put a drop of water on it and that capillary action causes that water to spread in all directions regardless of what gravity has to do with it. And so that's what happens here. That water gets in between the seam and rusts everything out, cutting the lifespan of the roof uh, in half or less than that. So on a traditional double lock standing seam roof, you would take your metal, you would cut this sweep into your low leg and then turn your high leg over top of it once. We're gonna do something different because this is a shallow roof pitch. It's, um, it's under 312. This is only like 11 or 12 degrees when I measured it. And so it's quite flat and that single turn is not quite enough to keep that from happening here. Above 412, I think you're probably fine, but on this lower pitch with this being a, a flatter roof deck here, we're gonna do a double lock sweep seam, okay? And I'm gonna show you how we do that. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll do the double lock sweep seam, and then we'll come back and show you how we tuck everything underneath the roof and create a nice watertight seam right here. So. So again, I'm keeping my leg pretty small in order to avoid ripping it. Okay, now the next turn, we're going to take it all the way down to the panel. Take the pliers all the way down until you touch the panel and start turning it. This next leg is going to be closer to about 12 millimeters or so. And um, you're just going to do the same process. Just repeat what you did before.
just in closing today. Let me give you guys a nice close look at what we're doing here. Of course, we'll go through one pool, we're finished, and we'll clean all this up, touch this up with some paint, some matching paint. So you're gonna get the idea, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is what you're looking at right here, and this is what prevents water from going sideways and getting between the drip edge and the metal panel. And you get an actual double lock seam that wraps all the way around the nose of the drip edge here. And, and that's what we're looking at, folks. And that's what we want to see. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Have a great day.